Hello everyone, it is me, Bulldog. Welcome back to my analysis of CLG. It is week 5, game 1, versus Team Liquid. We have Deus starting for us in the top lane. Uh, Weldon tweeted out earlier about how Bruin had kind of been on the grind since spring and was starting to experience some burnout, so we're giving him a, a break. And I think CLG's in a fine spot for playoff position, and I do want to see what Deus can do, because I've been pretty impressed by what I've seen in Academy, and it uh, gives us the option to play Orn, because Ruin does not play a good Orn. So I I really like uh, Deus. I'm going to turn up these guys a little bit for me, because I do like to hear a little bit of the commentary, because I'm still learning, and when I can't think of something... Uh, I like to bounce off what they're saying and play off their ideas. The Trundle ban by us is very interesting. That is very, very interesting. Because it's, it's by far Wiggly's best champion. Uh, pick ban, Aphelios, Twist of Fate, Trundle. <laughs> I don't, I don't agree with the Trundle ban. Yeah, a virus. Um, I mean, I would definitely... Uh, taking away Ornn and Azir would be pretty big. Or picking Ornn and taking away Azir, uh, whether by picking it or banning it, uh, would be pretty big against Poke Virus. Hey, the right idea, CLG. Uh, we saw this in the previous game of TL, or not TL, TSM and C9, where uh, C9 picked the Orn into that, and I like this set. Um, it's good jungle champion, can be flexed as support, so it still leaves us some flexibility, and I... I do like that quite a bit. And, I mean, if... <laughs> puts Liquid in a weird spot where... Oh, Shen? That's interesting. I think it's okay. Oh, Cassiopeia. Okay, Cassiopeia is good as well with the bars, but... You, you need sustained damage on this team. You don't have any. And with Poke... Yeah. You, and Team Liquid grabbing the Azir before we could ban it. I don't think it would have been right for us to grab it in first rotation. But it does it does give us the opportunity to just counterpick the matchup. Even though Azir does well into pretty much everything. Uh, I think LeBlanc is a good champ into it, so we could lock that up. Uh, it would also be pretty smart to grab our AD carry here. So now Team Liquid gets the chance to choke out the uh, mid lane pool, and we get the chance to choke out the jungle pool. So we have first ban, it should be the jungle pool. I would go with like Elise Sin, Olaf, uh, Olaf, good, good ban. Uh, Graves maybe, but I don't think the Graves is that good. We did see the Ignite Graves from Dardoch the other day, which was interesting. Yep, LeBlanc ban by T or TL, that's the right choice. Staying hydrated, boys. So this should be another jungle champion ban. Or we ban the threat. I don't agree with the thresh ban. I think we should have choked out the jungle pool more. Because I, I think the set is jungle. We can flex at support, but I don't think it's, uh, it's that good support um, with Ezreal. 
What I would like to see support is Lulu. I think Lulu or we could go Yumi. Both of those would be good with the set and the Ezreal. So Ezreal, Ezreal, Yumi, we could grab. Ezreal, Lulu, those those would be my two recommendations. We can grab like an Oriana or the Syndra. Okay, I like that. But the Team Liquid banning the Bard, I don't think the Bard is that good in general. And I don't think we play it terribly well. But Yumi or Lulu is 100% what I'd like to see here. Because they both pair extremely well with the set and the Ezreal. Uh, putting Broxa on the Lee Sin, kind of forcing him to have an early impact. Uh, yeah, the Tom Ken should be a pretty good pick. It would allow them to have a lot of global pressure. But it would it would put them in a weird spot where they only they just have this very very medium amount of utility. Well, we have like Orn, Syndra, Sat, pretty high utility champions, and I would like the Yumi or the Lulu very much. The Karma and the Karma solid too. Okay. Yeah, I think Karma is really powerful right now, especially with Arden Sensor. Uh, you can just mantra shield and give everyone Arden Sensor buff, uh, which is good for running at people in the middle of team fights and while taking objectives. So it provide provides a ton of help in. Uh, a bunch of different situations karma is pretty powerful early in lane and it just it does good things in solo queue uh, i have a buddy i duo with who's really good at senna and i play karma and that is a disgusting lane because you just you get to snare forever but i do like the draft uh, i think our we definitely out drafted here uh, i hate that youtube does that so Let's get on the rift right away. I wait. I I gave myself a couple minute delay, even though I could have watched it directly live because I wanted to be able to skip again, skip ahead like that. Ooh, the fancy camera work. Oh, riot! Ooh, the production value. It's fire. So, we, oh, Smoothie should be able to just, yeah, get a nice little chunk there. Uh, it should be enough that they, they timed it well so that Core JJ couldn't back. And uh, he won't recover his health entirely by the time he gets in lane. So... Although I don't, I don't agree with the comment by Smoothie. Uh, I think Airy is better because it, it also helps buff your shields. Uh, and, well, can Deus not? Well, I don't. Does Orange just not trade well with that early? I don't know. I don't know if he took Q level one, then probably not. But if he took anything else, he could have traded into that. But I think he might. I think a lot of Orns take Q level one. And getting, yeah, we should have priority in this bot lane the entire time. Uh, po Belter should be able to get early priority. Um. In the, this mid lane as well, so we should have pretty early dragon control. Uh, Deus needs to play the weak side well and not give up a bunch to the Lee Sin early. Yeah. Okay, Shen, <coughs> Shen kind of bodies Orn early. 
prime side. The double poke. And we're up by a couple CS. In bottom side. We're playing well. Uh, one of the things I was uh, working with, uh, talking with one of the uh, freelance analysts who used to work with Optic, and uh, we were going through some warding patterns in early jungle pathing. First of all, Spica paths the same way every game, and CLG only drops about half the early wards of every other team in the LCS. Which... Us dropping early wards is something we need to be better at. But maybe it, uh, we have two sweepers, so we may be playing more vision denial than anything. Okay, no, that's that's very good to stop the back there. Even even though you don't get the kill, you stop the back, you deny this entire wave, you get uh, plates for your bot lane, and you just, you really start to snowball them. That was a very good gank. And Deus playing very safe under tower. Uh, he had a ward in the tri brush that just faded, so he knew if there was pressure coming up there. So he was playing very, very safe. And that's what we need when we are playing around our bot lane. So that was very good there. Now we, in our especially in mid lane right now, since there's no real vision, definitely need to play very safe. Um, since we have not uh, gotten eyes on Lee Sin in quite a while. And that was very well done by Popelter to play safe, put some vision down at least on one side, and uh, play play to the side that he had vision. Just, just because he knew he was in a position where he could get dove. So we are playing very well this early game. Deus is playing the weak side extremely well. Uh, he's he's down a couple of CS, but as long as he keeps things relatively close, that's what we want. Uh, our bot lane should get a pretty big lead. And I think Karma, in in general, is just more useful than Tom Kench. Like Tom Kench keeps one person safe better, but Karma just does a lot more. But Kench is more of a frontliner. Karma is more of a backliner. But I think Karma is better by a fair amount. But their TL is gonna going to win by getting like numbers advantages um, across the map by using Shen and Tom Kench ulties effectively. That that's how that's kind of their win condition here. CLGs is just, we we can fight around objectives extremely well. We have the Orn ult, we have the set ult, we have the Syndra stun, uh, and then the ability to move fast and close the distance well with the Karma. Can Wiggly just, like, walk in and smite it away? Uh, I don't think he got it. No. Broxa got that, but we had Vision on the Dragon. Uh, we have no vision in the rest of the bottom river here, which I'm not a fan of because it doesn't allow us to get uh, priority on the dragon, which is something we need to be able to do. But we also we also scale significantly better. Like they have the Azir. Azir, Azir scales like a god, but Orn scales nearly as well. Ezra scales significantly better than Varus and Syndra scales fairly well. And Set also scales very well. Well, Lee Sin and Varus don't scale well. Shen scales fairly well, though. But <laughs> Deus with the, with the interesting uh, looking back. 
once and once and impact. But he can just build items out of that in lane, so he's completely fine. But he... I probably would have liked the bombing Cinder better, just so he has a little more control over the the wave. Just because the Shen has the Tiamat, which will give him a lot of priority over the wave. But as long as he stays relatively close, you know, within 10 CS, I'll consider that a success. And impact going the Tiamat gives him just less tank stats in general. But we have we have a pretty substantial lead on this bottom side. Uh, I don't know what's keeping I. What is keeping the gold so close? We should have like like a 300 gold lead, I would guess. Advantage on the top side. But getting this dragon here, good job. Uh, but we didn't, we don't have priority on bot here. That's not good. Yeah, we just, yeah, we, we have to give that up because of the level uh, eight Shen, the the level six Shen, the versus Deus not having teleport. So they had, they had a numbers advantage there. It was the right move to back off, uh, since we couldn't sneak it. And some of that lead that we had in the bot lane is fading away, but we have we have multiple tower plates. Okay, that was pretty sick, nasty. That was that was really really well played by Jensen, and just really well coordinated by Team Liquid in general. Uh, we do get continue to pressure this bottom uh, lane really heavily off of it, and continue to snowball our Ezreal. And it was the Shen that got the kill, not the. Oh uh, yep, he didn't have stun, and great job by Jensen to flash and it, it, the the wall hitbox is a little weird because it scoops and you could argue that Poe Belter shouldn't have gotten hit by the wall but he flashed into like the back of the hitbox and got scooped by it so I I can't fault Poe po Belter for that It was it was a very well done play by uh, Jensen in Impact to just catch him out. They traded flashes and it got the gold onto Impact rather than Jensen. Which, if you're gonna give the kill over, Shen is probably the guy you want it on because he's not gonna he's. He's an ultimate and a uh, taunt bot, really, for this team, and that's all, all you really want out of him. And sticks a about 20 CS here, up. So that's that's about a 350-ish gold lead, which is good. We're only down. <clears throat> a couple CS in the top lane. We're down 10 CS in the mid lane. Looks like, but Poe Belter looks like he, he's catching a wave under tower, so it should be back close. And Wiggly is farming up just fine. Uh, playing around his bot lane pretty well to get pressure there. Uh, that is the Tom Kench TP. Two minutes till Dragon. We are starting to set up for that, but so is TL. And they will have uh, the Shen ulti up for that. And yeah, Shen, Shen is pretty gross in the 1v1. But it's just you have, as Orn, you have to survive to level 13. 
able to push out Deus once again, forcing him to and Deus getting shoved out isn't that big a deal. Oh, Shen has two plates top lane. That's it's one of the big differences. And we're we're at least backing and prepping. Uh, oh, when did they get Rift Herald? I didn't even notice that. Yeah, but no, that's rough. That, that is rough. I didn't even know they got that. But we... Uh, the Our window does kind of appear most once we start getting the Orn, online, the Orn and the Ezreal online. Which is two items for the Ezreal and level 13 for the Orn. Stand United is available. Dragon is spawning here. So Impact uses the Titanic Hydra to try and keep the top lane pressure so. on Deus. Uh, continually trying like, to make him we farm. keep doing this where we back like 30 seconds before the dragon spawns instead of a minute before. When we should be and starting to try and get vision, but we have absolutely no vision on the map anywhere. We have three wards on the entire fucking map right now. Why do we only have three wards on the map compared to, like, the 14 of Team Liquids? But this could. This could be something. Uh, Deus is backing. They do have... We do have TP match. Uh, Shanna has ulti. They get the extra card in this game of poker. Deus goes back on Orn and he's walking back the lane to try and deal with those minions. And Team Liquid say, well, guys, we don't even have to start the dragon. They do get stunned. Good stun devour as well, but they got to protect tactical. There's the set diving in with the ulti. But Wiggly gets oh, good job. Good engage. And it just... Yeah, okay, let me... They said... I didn't... Okay, I thought... Okay, there's Tactical's ulti down. So we should be able to go forward. Is, oh, the, the audio's just desynced here. Yeah. Okay. That... Yeah. We tried to burst someone down while they have Tom Kench on their team. You, you kind of have to engage on a group and... We didn't get that. But, wow. We are down quite a bit of gold already. Yeah, we're just kind of getting bodied. Which... We did pick a far weaker early game because the Varus is at his strongest point in the game right now. The Shen's at his strongest point in the game. The Lee Sin's at his strongest point in the game. So they should they should really fall off as the game gets going because Syndra Syndra really uh, starts popping off at two two and a half items. Ezreal two items. Orin, level 13. And Karma, once she has enough mana regen to basically never run out of mana. Well, we can just kind of outstat them later in the game. CLG don't have a lot of surprise cards to, to turn the tables and force Team Liquid off of their game plan. And since it's already been... Yeah, but we can just kind of brute force things. Once we get to the point we can, we just have to keep things close enough until then. And they are close enough for now. ...to make some headway down bottom side. Cobelter will get one tower for themselves, so they break that for a perfect game very quickly. Yep, like I said, just trying to help him out there. As uh, we have Vito's managed to at least get some gold back into CLG's pockets. They're still down 4,000 gold, which is extremely significant this early on into the game. And you can see, I mean, that arrow yeah. 
Could not connect on the sticks there, but it's most of the gold difference is in top lane. And once once Orn gets his Orn items, a lot of that gold advantage gets mitigated. I'm a little surprised that Smoothie went the Mikhail's first because they only have the taunt and the ulti from tactical I for major CC abilities that can be cleansed by that I would have I probably would have gone at Thien's myself just to uh, be able to do a little more you can heal I uh, it gives you more damage and it allows you to get more damage from uh, mana regen items Makes them more effective. Oh, again, the flash gets caught by Jensen's ulti, but it's impact that sets it all up in the shrubbery. Okay, uh, the the audio is so desynced. I'm just gonna turn it off and because it's it's like five seconds ahead of the game, and I don't I don't want to be want it to be spoiled like that. So it might be a little weird from what I normally do, but. Now that, that audio being off is annoying. Uh, again, we just have no fucking wards on the map. We have three of them. And I don't... It's weird because our vision scores aren't that different except in mid lane. Holy cow. Look at the difference in vi vision score in mid lane. Povelter hasn't even smelled a word this game. Well, Jensen is, like, keeping up with his... Uh, he's second in the uh, on his team. So, Deus should be hitting the level 13 here soon. Um... Yeah, we definitely do not win this because they have Jensen coming over and they also have Impact's ulti that they can still use. What the hell? I'm just going to try and create some action here, you know. Uh, I think people, <laughs> especially CLG fans, are lucky that you're casting this game with me and not Freak because Freak would be still pissed. <laughs> From the last game that he what the hell is going on? Dragons up in about 40 seconds. Garden back in. TL Core JJ is going to be forced to flash over that wall. Dragons up in about 40 seconds. And we were paused. A very dramatic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're paused. So this is why I like to have a delay. Let's see if my buffer was enough. Alright. It doesn't look like it. I'm going to see if refreshing will fix the audio desync here. Okay. Okay. At least CLG, from what we just saw before we got away, are looking to try and make a proactive play on TL around for this next dragon. Because. They've already given so much away that, like, it's not a good situation. Uh, so this is to give anything more. pretty annoying. So right now we've been extremely right, passive. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> like be, and uh, we, we made some, sure had some good uh, early pressure CLG. around CLG. bot lane. Uh, Poe Belter has yeah, just kind of been outlaned by Jensen, this, uh, which isn't that surprising. Uh, Lee Sen has a, had a bit of a higher impact early and the sh they've been utilizing the shen fairly well i and first of all winning the lane matchup pretty heavily and then um 
using the ulti, or at least threatening the ulti to posture around objectives and take those. And then we have we haven't even because of the lane dominance, top lane we haven't even uh, sniffed a rift herald. They got both of them. They got two towers off of them. It was it was pretty rough. It's funny that this is like where they've landed this week, at least as far as style goes, because this is like the team liquid that I have seen win four championships. Just pick Tom Kench, be smarter and better than the other team, and then slowly win the game and never give your opponents chances to get back. Yeah, so I want to bring up a topic here that's been pretty heavily discussed with Team Liquid with the recent performances, right? Against a lot of the top teams, a lot of these games have come with them being behind and their opponents making some critical yeah. errors, uh, which led to a lot of... But CLG, like, always starts behind, so and it's okay. weird. Like, this is a comp that you can understand being behind to start with. They picked two very lane-dominant champions and a very aggressive early jungler, and then uh, Jensen is just better. ...is a completely one-sided um, stomp, uh, so, which is basically going to be the emphatic answer to last week's issues where... Um, you know, they were it, to get a lot of those like, numbers-wise, it result. looks like a stomp, but it so doesn't around, feel like a stomp. Answer, it doesn't feel like CLG's out of the game by on. any means. Okay, there is the we go. We got some that. Uh, the Can we... Okay, Days just inted. Okay, can we pick out Broxa here? Nope, we can't. Uh, Pobelter dies, and Stixa has to be able to hard carry. And yeah, we just got absolutely bodied. Pobelter is not playing well in general. Uh, he's just constantly getting scooped by Jensen. To play during things like this. All right, six eight tries to get some damage onto that mid turret. Ooh, look at that! Like, and Auto. Jensen's not that getting punished for it scratch. at all. Yeah, Jensen with the blue buff, just gonna completely zone the Ezreal off. I mean, Jensen level fourteen. Six eight actually is doing a. Deus just got 13. Uh, he does have the one Orn item. He hasn't completed the other one, which is... It's super expensive to complete that item. You get the two components, and then it's like 1,300 gold to combine, which is one of the highest combined costs in the game. Yeah, so Like, Riot could throw us a bone and throw in an extra though, ruby crystal uh, some people being required, really think of Azir like, as like it is it with is uh, Sunfire Git, that has have the two major components and then an extra and ruby crystal, so they something like that. Just push all three lanes with the amount of control and the lead that they have in this game. Again, talking about Tom Kench, you just stick by your Varus. Yeah, lane, and one. like we're forced to fight Easy around the next Drake. And Titanic over the Orn, and then you just have Azir, um, from Otherwise, to we just kind of lose and back get bled to death. And threaten Baron once again. Then you but we do have we have the two Orn items, we have the two Ezreal items. Syndra is almost at two items, which it I don't know what the hell she's going. Is nothing builds out of those three components. Getting all their pieces in place. Quickly possible hex flash does flash, but it's not behind them enough, so nobody's gonna get picked. Yeah, Wiggly will have his dead man soon, so we're starting to come up on the item spikes that should allow us to really start generating uh, advantages for ourselves, even though we're down six thousand gold. Yep, the split push taking its toll. Nobody's there oh, wow. to answer as uh, Deus is over here in the yep. mid lane with the rest of the and team. And just Impact to is going to split push and win the game where, uh, because we don't know how to play the map. Get there one and we don't have anyone game. that can match him you because Syndra's weak. Of rotating your uh, over, and they have an adaptive helm, and, and as soon as we send it to be over, they go do Baron. Just extremely well played yeah, so by Team Liquid there. Just such a good champion at doing Baron with whatever front line you happen to have. In this case, it is going to be Brox's Lee Sin. Core JJ, though, trying to play defense. They've rooted up the jungler. They need to be careful about this one. Yeah, going again. And it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, Brox no. was able to get the Baron. <laughs> no, no hex yeah. flash. Because uh, Wiggly tried to use it in. Mm. Uh, 
uh, earlier, so the cooldown wasn't quite back mm. up right there. I don't know. I don't know what him to get in. Sticks it again, what we really do very different. Hail Mary over the uh, top. Jensen has hit the scoops very well on Azir and played it well. Maybe maybe picking away the Azir might have been the right option. We were talking about earlier, just laughably easy to execute, plus the fact that it would have forced them onto the Cassiopeia, which I guess isn't a very good matchup because the Azir just outranges Cassiopeia. Hey, we're actually putting wards on the map. This is a surprise. We have two. We have two wards on the map. Two fucking wards on the map. Are you kidding me, CLG? Notice that you want to see the pure CLG fan. Both solo and is trying to catch a wave under the tower as the solo is it pushes them. But that's kind of where the reality for CLG is. At least all this. Why do we never have wards anywhere on the map? Oh, we have one ward on the entire map. There's no need for them to. I've played games in bronze that ward significantly better. And it's not like they have a bunch of sweepers or anything. They have a sweeper and an umbral glaive. So they don't have an unusually high am amount of vision control. We just aren't laying down wards. Pobelter has a 14 vision score to Jensen's 40. Put your own bounty on somebody's head and just decide we are going to get a victory if we and take impact is just champion. destroying us with this shen uh, and they're taking advantage of uh, it being uh, davis's first game the on the stage ones, and uh, throw everybody at them see if you can take down that uh, that one person to, to get and the general general rule of playing around a global right like that is you want to attack the global we have not attacked it at all Dragon leading up oh, to the soul. Oh, goodness. Oh, there's set going in. TP as well. Here comes Dez. Okay. That's a fairly good engage there. Oh, that should be a dead tactical. Okay. That should be a second kill right there onto the Tom Kench. Wiggly should be able to get that or sticks it. There we go. And we want to fight around a dragon. So my optimism around us having those items and being able to play around them was not unfounded. <laughs> what did I say? We can turn it around when Stix A gets two items, Orn gets two items, and Syndra gets about two and a half. That's exactly where we started to generate an advantage for ourselves, by finally winning a fight, getting an objective, and we, we put a band-aid on the bullet hole right now. But... So... That, that put the game back in our reach, but it's still not going to be easy. Because they have they have a three-item Azir, a three-item level 17 Shen. Holy cow. So we're just down in levels and just weaker in general. But Stixe has three items, so he's going to be very hard to kill. Because they, do, they don't really have... Uh, Azir would have to get on top of him, which shouldn't happen, because Stix has plenty of mobility, he also has a Karma to help him out with that. We have a very, very tanky Orn. I don't know what the hell Wiggly is doing. Is he switching over to a stone plate instead of a dead man's? I don't know why he would do that. He was, he was a, he was like 800 gold away from completing the dead man's but getting some of the standing gold for us that's good matching their kills here definitely going to be difficult to deal with the minions but trying to fight their way back Deus just keeping that tower alive doing a good job uh, we still have no fucking wards on the map well we have four we have four wards on the map now which apparently is a lot for us. Which four should be like the bare minimum. Oh, we have a fifth. We have a fifth one on the map. Okay. But we, 
we have no pink wards in inventory, and we have two on the map now. Keep it away from TL and just kind of float the game in the closest they can make it. Then uh, they're at least on the right Which is there. kind of a big issue for us. Fight, right? If everything can get set up, it's just getting set up that's been the big We problem. need to be yeah, warding I mean, like more. We need uh, to be buying uh, more pink wards. Smoothie at least getting two. I uh, Pope Elter, I don't think has bought one all game. That's why his board score is his vision score is only 16 compared to Jensen's 43. We need to buy pink wards. We need to ward more. That is one of our biggest issues. Stix A is very very powerful at this point. Uh, when Team Liquid try and rotate over to Baron, when you have Ezreal and Karma combination, and do you have, uh, Poe Belter almost has a death cap, with your skill shots, which is pretty big. Also have the extra speed up from Karma to allow Wiggly has uh, not completed a second item. He should have a dead man's at this point. Uh, yeah, I assume they can win but Deus is at the point where he can pretty decently match him because there's just no way Impact ever kills him. We do have the... Okay, we have Vision of it. And we have, we have TP match from Deus. I don't know why he's backing off because we're going to lose a tower from that. Uh, there's a chance that we catch Brox out, but we lost top, we lost spot tower. Gotta watch out for the Azir. Extremely fed. Impact does it himself though. Sinks in again. He's level 18. Finishes off the turret again. Team Liquid. Yeah. Not sure why Dave backed off there. And there goes the majority of Pobelters health bar. Impact will eventually just get the okay. So I mean. But they uh, we we're just kind of trying to prevent the Baron, but when we do that, uh, like we need to get vision control around the Baron, like get a dominating pocket of vision there, and then go make a play around Impact. But look. We showed our 80 carry bottom lane without having a dominating uh, pocket of vision around Baron, so we lose Baron. So that was dumb. Trading Baron for a second dragon, not really worth it because we have an open inhibitor in top lane. The chance of them beating TL at the Baron fight is really low because, you know, Impact just stand united right over there. So they say, okay, uh, we'll take the small price here. We will deny like, another we at least we'll allow you to traded something two. for the Baron. The is, Baron two is uh, Impact shorter, can't get any more levels. That's a good thing. Deus can only catch up in levels. Same with uh, Jensen. Jensen's fully level. So they they can't get any more experience, which will mitigate some of their advantage. I can Wiggly finally complete a fucking second item? Can you please? Oh, Stixa! Wow. That is the kind of poke that Six Eight wants to be landing there. Yeah. Pack still getting a little too far. Oh. Able to chase him down. Can we bring the pain really to the global? Uh, Which is generally what you want to do. You want to attack the global. Uh, Belter has his death cap. He's almost level 18. TL out of their base, Kobe. I feel like uh, they've been trying to keep TL out of the base for the whole. But game. we can't. Yeah. Like, Deus can no longer clear these <laughs> minions easily. <laughs> that looked like it was a bug with uh, Deus uh, Dash accidentally knocking up Impact somehow. But it's just a blast plant. Thank goodness Banner commands out of the game. 
Deus will be. Deus and Pobelter will be 18 soon. And the rest of our champions are fairly close in levels. Brox is a higher level than Wiggly, but Wiggly is a more useful champion. But Impact just. Can he get out? Taking the everything right, one v3, one in box, the kitchen two, sink. Zoe, quit scratching my chair. Quit scratching my chair. That is a good one. Happy cats for all. All right, only mid lane left here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we. The band aid on the bullet hole was not enough to stop the bleeding. And it does nothing. Okay. This was just sad. Poe Belter with the flank? Wait, what just happened? Wait. That's going to be the target, but Cordae J is already dead. A double kill actually for the owners. Jensen's trying to get out. He is forced to flash after What the heck just happened? Because we should be able to kill Impact here. Uh, no, not without Ezreal there. But we just took a 4v2. This is, this is reminiscent of the TSM. There's nothing really to take. We just have to even, uh, even things out and... I uh, relieve some of the pressure, but yeah, the, with the whiffed Ornold, I wouldn't have thought, but great flank by Pobelter, and just absolutely bodied tactical there. Holy cow. And Deus doing a good job of finishing him off. And Jensen getting out, and yeah, we just win these team fights. There, there's not really anything we can do off the back of this one. We can get waves in better places, get more items, have like re have a really safe reset. But that's about it. And Stick say, I uh, really, really, really strong with all the items he ha he has. I uh, Deus should be virtually unkillable at this point. Wiggly so very close to that dead man's plate. But the thing we have to do is win another fight like that and then convert it into either dragon or buried. But the most important thing for us to do is kill the Azir because he has all of their sustained damage and they can't take an objective without it. So as long as we kill the Azir, if we, it, they don't have the ability to take an objective. But as long as Azir is alive and they have any other champion alive, they can take Baron, they can take Dragon. But now we have we have to fight over that. But we have like we can't leave base because we have triple super minions, and Jensen's on the ba on the dragon, so that's soul. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That is just how disgusting Jensen is. And we just keep getting in these situations against a late game Azir and bleeding out too much and not being able to do anything. It feels super apathetic. Don't think there's anything left in the tank for CLG, but they will see if they can. Put up some sort of resistance around the Nexus. Tixie dancing on a Broxa does get the word of own King Pop. But again, so. the minions finishing it off. Impact with the shutdown just straight up towards Poe Belter and slaps it with the Titanic Hydra. And Impact <laughs> has taken full control Impact of this just game. Impact just absolutely bodied this game. It's going to be Team Liquid all the way as CLG. They're going to finally lose all five as Deus runs back towards the fountain. They they were the smarter team. Oh my gosh, Impact just tanked Fountain, but that that just felt like we didn't know how to play the game. We 
We just didn't ever make a play. We placed no fucking vision whatsoever. We need to place more wards. There wasn't like any big mistake. It was like we, for the most part, there there wasn't a what are you doing moment like there was constantly with the TSM game. It just was too passive, too apathetic. I uh, and uh, like the Shen just absolutely bodied the Orn. So it was top difference mainly. I think it's just a matter of unfortunate. They just didn't play that bad, but Impact had a great game. See you guys tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it'll go better. I think we're a better team than EG. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share with friends, all that good stuff. Self promotion.